Hello everyone, this is Charles from Indie Game Hustle, and in this course, we're gonna cover the basics of Bolt. If you're not familiar with Bolt, Bolt gives you the ability to create your game without coding. Now, when I say you're not coding, it doesn't mean that you're not going to do things as a programmer, but it does mean that you'll be able to see your code in a different way. What I like about visual scripting is that it gives you the ability to see the flow, to see your idea. And if your idea that you're trying to code using visual scripting isn't working or it's not flowing correctly, you'll be able to go and look through your flow and try to pinpoint exactly where your issue lie. What's great about Bolt for Unity is that it doesn't get rid of the coding. I believe it kind of trains your brain to kind of prepare you to understand how coding works. So eventually you'll be able to write code using actual syntax. But in the meantime, you can use your eyes and you can use your ideas and focus on the logic of programming and coding and scripting inside of Unity without being bogged down by the complication trying to remember syntax. Now in this course, the first thing that we're going to do is install Bolt. Next, we're going to cover Bolt's UI. Then we're going to organize the layout so it's easier to use Bolt on a single screen. We're going to cover flow graphs and how to add them to objects. We're going to talk about state graphs. And then we're going to talk about defining variables and all the different variable types. After all that, we're going to go and do a start menu using a combination of flow graphs and state graphs. All right. So I'll see you guys in the next video.